Okay, so right now I'm just taking down my braids and then I'm going to brush it with a Denman brush. If you have curly hair, I need you to invest in a Denman brush. I cannot stress this enough because it is just everything in a bag of chips. You can research it and everything and then you will want to buy one. Just, just get you one. <laughs> As you can tell, my hair is not even, and I'm going to cut my hair, so make sure you have post notifications on, and I'll explain more about why and all of that good stuff. I'm obsessed with really long hair, so this is a big thing for me. So, yeah, just look out for that video, but right now, I'm just parting my hair down in the middle because we're just going to do two even ponytails. to give it more shine and make it look a little bit more put together at the end if you have coarser hair then i would advise you to flat iron it or somehow stretch your hair so that you can get it as flat as possible my hair is pretty thin so it wasn't a struggle for me at all <laughs> Y'all, it is so hard to do edges when you're going to put a high ponytail. It took me forever, which is why I didn't film the other side. But this is not baby hairs. If you guys want a baby hair tutorial, I actually have two on my page, so check those out. But anyways, I'm just going to spray it with got to be glued spray freezing spray i believe it's called just to hold it and make sure it's not going anywhere and we could rock this hairstyle for a long time because it is kind of time consuming but yeah it was really hard so i didn't do the other side on camera but i did put a scarf on and i'll show you in a second <laughs> So it wasn't until this point where I realized that they were uneven. Make sure you get your ponytails as even as possible because it will look kind of crazy at the end. So this is what I'm doing. Be careful not to mess up your little swoops because after you put the freezing spray and gel and everything that you put on, it's going to be really stiff. And if it gets out of place, it's going to look really crazy. We can go. At this point you're done that white stuff is just dried up gel and freezing spray that i put on but you could just put on some powder foundation over it or some water and it'll be fine i'm just brushing it out because now i'm going to put this cheap dollar 50 hair in my head i'm literally not going to alter it at all i'm just taking the rubber band that it comes with and attaching it to the ponytail that I already have. So basically just put on a hair tie as if the hair wasn't even there. I'm putting this in real time because I want you guys to see how easy and simple it is because I know that when I'm doing tutorials and I miss a very important part, I'm mad irritated. So this is for you guys. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it on the other side as well, except for the other side, it kind of got messed up because I got long nails and messed me up again. But it's all good because at the end of the day, it still look mad lit. <laughs> Right now, I'm just carefully trying to finger comb my hair with the fake hair and do a regular braid. <laughs> seen some tutorials where some people sprayed their hair with freezing spray or got to be glued spray but my hair was pretty fine so i didn't have to do that i guess they do it so that it's more defined and put together but 
This braid is not showing, so you don't have to do a whole lot. You can burn the edges, but I couldn't find a lighter because I do not smoke. <laughs> Stay away from smoke, kids. But anyways, I couldn't find it, so I'm just putting rubber bands and cutting off the ends. So now I'm just using this pudding hair that I received. I was in love, bro. Like, my first impression, because I've never had this texture of hair, was what the heck? What do you mean this is 18 inches? What do you mean this is 20 inches? But, bro, do you see that bounce in those bundles? These bundles are so thick. The only problem is that it kind of had a stink. But then again, I didn't wash it. But still, who wants some hair that stinks? You feel me? But other than that, I love the hair. It's mad silky. It's almost like Indian hair. Because Indian hair is my favorite hair, bro. That hair is so silky and soft and stuff. But anyways, we're not talking about that. So I'm just using regular hair glue. And I didn't have a blow dryer. But most people will blow dry it so that it stays in place but you know me i'm kind of lazy you know but anyways i just go part by part and just wrap it around regularly i put these wefts really close to each other because i wanted to show you guys what it would be like to have really full hair but i was running out of hair and i didn't want to use the second bundle because i wanted to do another look like this when this hair kind of fell out but yeah if you want a thinner ponytail then you want to spread them out if you want a thicker more fuller ponytail then you want to put the wefts really close together So the company have sent me four bundles and a closure, two 18 inches and two 20 inches. I just decided to use the two longest inches because y'all know I love me some inches. Anyways, I am super excited because now I could create this look twice. Slay times two. You feel me? Like I said, once I started getting towards the middle, I started to wrap them way more spaced apart. And towards the middle is where my real hair started, so I didn't want to apply any glue even though I mixed the fake hair with my real hair. I just didn't want any breakage when it was time for me to take out the hair. <laughs> Once I get to the end, about an inch, I just keep wrapping it around and around and around to secure it. For extra hold, you can put gel, but I didn't want to because I didn't plan on leaving it in for more than a few days. Now I'm just spreading out the curls and bam, you're finished. Look at those itches, girl, look at them itches. <laughs> So now I'm doing the same exact thing on this side except I am spacing them out more evenly. Be mindful about how far up you put the glue because we do not need the glue to be on your hair just to prevent breakage. Obviously there is a way to safely remove it but to avoid all of that stuff just try to not get it on your hair in the first place. So I'm just going to stop talking through the rest of it and just let you guys watch it. And 
voila. So you got the thicker side and then you got the more natural side. Let me know in the comments which side is your favorite. Yes, bitch. Slay this. Slay this. Slay my life. Lord have mercy.